How's it going everybody? I'm Ryan from Hellcat Design USA and I'm gonna today I'm gonna to show you how to do a procedural cigarette. Um, there's uh, a few ways you can do this. I always say that there's hundreds of ways you can do this, but this is just my way to do the procedural cigarette. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna I'm actually gonna to try to make this a quicker tutorial than I'm, I'm used to, sorry. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna get right into it and see what we can do with so first of all what we're gonna do is we're gonna need a something for the paper that has the logo on it of the cigarette brand. Now I downloaded a logo or a sorry a font from a um, thousand and one free fonts. Uh, I've downloaded the Marlboro texture so that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the Marlboro texture here and, or the Marlboro font. Sorry I keep saying texture. Um, and then I'm gonna show you how to do this. Okay so first of all we're gonna grab our cube, hit X, delete our cube, we're gonna grab our light and switch that over to Sun. Turn it down from a thousand to five. Okay, we're gonna make that super quick. And then I'm gonna hit seven on the number pad. Oh, sorry, my bad. Um, let me turn on my screencast key so you guys can see what I'm doing. Oh, why is my screencast keys not working? Okay, there we go. Apparently I had to turn it off and on. Okay, so, all right, now that we have that, we're gonna um, hit make sure we hit seven on the number pad so that we're in the top orthographic view, okay? And then I'm going to hit Control Alt and Zero, and that is going to bring, snap our camera to our position here. Now I'm going to hit Shift A, grab in a plane, scale that plane up till it's bigger than the uh, view here. And then I'm going to Shift D, duplicate that. And I'm going to hit S X and scale it down super thin. And then actually it's thinner. Oh. Better than that, I'm gonna hit G Y X or sorry G X, and then we're gonna put it right at the edge, right there, of the camera. I'm gonna G Y or G X, put it right over the edge of the camera there, and then we're gonna Shift D, and then hit X, and then we're gonna move it just like about there. Okay. Um, and this is, and then what we're going to do is we're going to have this plane, big one here, come over to our materials, and then click on this little tab here. And there's already a pre-material that's made. We're going to use that one to start out. Um, I'm going to want to turn off the specular down to zero, and then I'm going to want to turn the base color all the way up to white. I want it as white as possible. And then I'm going to grab one of these two right here, and then I'm going to add in new. I'm going to do the same thing with the specular. I'm going to turn the specular all the way off, and then I'm going to um, actually uh, change the base color to a black. So if I go to the material view, you can see that it's black now, and we're going to do the same thing with the other one. You just click on this, and then make that that material. That looks about good. All right, and then we're going to hit Shift A, and we're going to add in a text. All right, now for the text, we're gonna come over to our little tab panel over here and click on the text uh, note and then come over to where it says font. And then you can select or find the font or wherever you put it. I actually have a separate folder. Uh, um, let me think where it is. It is right there. And then I got the Marlboro texture right there. I'm gonna open that font. And then we are going to type in Marlboro. Uh, actually, here, let's type in M A R. Oh man, I forgot how to spell it now. M A R L B O R O. Yeah, that's right. Okay, that's right. Sorry, I had to. I had to see it. All right. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to come over to our material tab here and make sure we turn that to black so that we can see that too. Okay, and then we're going to hit R to rotate that text on 9-0, and then hit the negative key, or uh, it's what the it's the key next to the plus, it's minus. Um, and then we're going to hit G. We're going to grab that and put that right near there, and then we're going to scale that down. Um, now, if you look at a cigarette, they have... Um, this isn't going to be perfect, obviously, exactly how Marlboro does their cigarettes. Uh, they have different, obviously, different types of cigarettes. Uh, and you can make whatever um, paper you want for this, but this is just what I'm doing. This is procedural, uh, how I would do this. 
Okay, and then what we're going to do is, um, now that you have the Marlboro in there, I would probably center it and make it about there. Oh, make that, grab that Marlboro again, come on. Uh, okay, sorry. And we're going to go into, put it right about there. We're going to want to make sure there's a little gap between those so you can make sure that there's a bottom. Try to make it about in the middle. Uh, it just makes it easier for whenever you're going to texture stuff to make the center point of what you're going to, the rotation of whatever sig or whatever you're going to have to be facing forward. So we're going to want the lines for the back side of it to be over there and over there. So we just want the text in it to be in the middle. Everything else is fine. So from now, we're just going to go. This is literally all we need for now. So what we're going to do is I'm going to come over to my rendered view and make sure everything looks good. Um, I probably have to raise that Marlboro up um, by hitting one on my number pad and doing the same thing I did with the um, lines. Just hit GZ, move it slightly above. And that's just going to reassure that when we go to render that they're, the two planes are not the same and it renders one over the other or that back plane over that. Okay, so now if I go into rendered mode and then click on this little button up here. That'll get rid of everything so you can actually kind of see what you're looking at right here. This looks good. Uh, I'm not trying to go for any special effects here. I could actually take that Marlboro and instead of making it a, a base black color, I could actually take the material and hit this little copy sign so it keeps the material but copies it. Come over here and then kind of make it a red or, you know, yeah, whatever color you need for whatever cigarette brand you're doing. Um, Marlboro, I know, usually goes for red, so let's just go for red for now. Okay, now that we have that, <coughs> and our camera is set up, and our light is set up, um, that's this is basically it right here. This is all we're going to need to do. Um, so I'm going to hit zero on my number pad. Uh, and you didn't have to do that, but uh, I'm going to go over to my uh, sampling scene. Um, for my render, we can actually, you can keep this low. This isn't a uh, complicated texture or anything. So what we're going to do is gonna, everything should basically, for your normal settings, should be perfectly fine for this. You can even drop this down if you don't want such a big texture. Um, so yeah, you can do you can drop those down to whatever you want or up them if you want to have a super high texture. But it really doesn't matter in this situation because you're just basically having basic colors on this. So all right, yeah, all right. Now that that's done, we're gonna hit F12, and that is going to bring up this render screen. After that, I'm gonna hit Image up here and then Save As, and then I'm gonna put that directly on my desktop, and I'm gonna label it as. M A R L, Marl, um, and make sure it's on my desktop. Save that, and then I hit X on that. And then we're just going to open a new scene. Um, not worried about saving that one. Um, okay, now since this one is just going to be basically modeling and texturing, and I'm not really going to be doing uh, any renders off of this one currently at the moment, so I'm just going to hit uh, A and hit X and just delete everything. I'm also going to have to bring up my screencast keys again here, so let's click, click. Okay, there we go. Um, <clears throat> and then what we're going to do is we're going to start out with, guess what? Guess what? Mesh cylinder. Uh, I'm going to come down to where my face is here um, and click on that little tab there before we do anything. And I'm going to say 64 um, or 96. Um, I'm just upping it by three times because uh, I want it to be as smooth as possible. Um, just, just because <laughs> I can also come up here and go to shade smooth, but that is going to mess up the ends. And then we can do there's there's a few things we can do here, but this is how I'm going to be doing it. So after that, we need to know the dimensions of a cigarette. Uh, we're, I'm going to be going off of hundreds today because um, there's two types of cigarettes. Right, uh, there's actually three types of cigarettes. Uh, regular ones, which are 84 millimeters long. Uh, hundreds, which are obviously 100 millimeters long, the total cigarette. And then like the Misty 120s, the 120 millimeter cigarettes. The I don't know the size of the Misty's, but the average regular size of a cigarette is, uh, the, the width of a cigarette is about nine about nine millimeters. Luckily, Blender's internal uh, stuff is set up so that you can just literally type in what you want. So 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit N on my number pad, make sure my tool item's up, uh, make sure I click on item up here, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the dimensions of the cigarette. So we're going to say it's 9 by 9 by 100. And that is the length of an actual cigarette. Right there. Boom. Length and width of a cigarette. Uh, you can also look that stuff up online and find your favorite cigarettes, but this is just, like I said, always the way that I do it. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to start off. I'm actually going to uh, rotate, rotate that on uh, X by 90 degrees, and then I'm going to hit GZ and just bring it up above the platform so that when we're looking at it, we don't have a bunch of the grid floor really messing with us. I can actually turn off the grid floor, but I don't really... Grid floor also helps. All right, after that, I'm going to grab the cigarette, go into edit mode, okay, and then I'm going to hit uh, control R and bring in a loop cut, and then I'm going to hold uh, control as I click it through, and I think I'm going to bring it over to about there, yeah, about there. Okay, so this is going to be the butt of our cigarette, and this is going to be um, our uh, um, paper. Okay, so what we're going to start off with our butt here. So actually what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the paper. So we're going to go to the material and click on the original material here like we did last time. And I'm going to leave that alone for now because we're going to use that for the image texture later. I'm going to come up top here, click on the box settings, hold alt, and then click on one of the vertices over here and you should be able to grab this loop right here. And then after that we're going to come over here and click the little plus sign to add a new material and then we're going to click new because we're going to add a new material. Now uh, you can come over here to shading and stuff like that and work off of this uh, but honestly I do I always like the old school just pulling some pages out which you can still do you know what I mean um, just pulling some stuff out and then working off of that so that's what I'm going to do today. Um, first we're going to need our um, UV editor and then we're going to need, oh, sorry about that. Let's hit Control Z and get rid of that. Uh, okay, screencast keys aren't working because I have that page over, but uh, that's fine for now, I guess. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, once I grabbed all of this, I'm going to come over here and go over to the shader editor. And then in this window right here, right where my face is, uh, I'm going to change that over. I'm going to use my wheel to scroll through the, to the end, and I'm just going to go to rendered or uh, textured view for now so I can kind of see what I'm doing as I'm doing. All right, so this is actually going to be a super simple texture. Uh, people would think this is hard, but one of my favorite uh, nodes is the um, uh, noise texture. So you go over to the texture, go down to noise, noise texture. Okay, awesome. And then we're going to hit Control A, and then we're going to add in a converter color ramp. And this is just to mix two different colors based off of the noise texture, the look of the noise texture, basically. I can add in different textures, but the noise texture is probably one of my favorite just because you, there's so many different things that you can do with it. Um, so we're going to plug our factor into our factor, and then our color into the base color. Okay, right there. And I'm actually going to... Uh, since it already, this uh, mesh already has the basic unwrapping, I'm going to actually just grab what's here and hit S, Y, and then we're just going to scale that up until it's about right there. We'll look at it here in a second when we do this. Um, but if I come out of edit mode, oh, no, I forgot to do, sorry. Uh, now that we have all those selected and then we have the new material, you have to come over here and hit assign because now you'll assign that new material. You can actually see what's going on over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in some of that noise there. My SY. Oh, sorry. One more thing I forgot to do. Um, click on your noise texture here. And this is actually really cool. If you hit Control T, it'll bring up a mapping node. So you can actually go off of the UV. So it actually works correctly off of what the UV area is and you won't have as many splices and cuts and stuff like that. It actually makes it better. So we're going to actually just scale that till... Um, actually, what we're going to do is we're going to scale our noise texture up until about there. 
And I know this doesn't look right right now, but trust me, it's only going to take a second to fix that. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually take this black and move that over, and I'm going to change this um, white. We're going to start, click on the white, and then grab the white. And then we're going to kind of come over here and make like the brownish color that you'd see on for a cigarette filter. Um, I'm just kind of looking at a cigarette filter right now, kind of guessing around maybe a little bit darker. I can actually make that a little darker. Uh, like that, and then come around and check it again. Uh, maybe a little more orange, about right there. Okay. So around, like I said, you can figure out your own color. Um, and then I'm going to take this black here and I'm going to change that to a white. Oh. Okay. And I'm going to drag that over. And I'm going to drag this one over to where it comes over and kind of cuts into that. I'm also going to want to turn down the specular on this for the moment so that I can see what I'm doing here. Uh, you can kind of see the filter situation is coming in. Now I'm going to drag this over and you're going to see the filter kind of pop in. Um, now I've noticed most filters just kind of have dots like that. So we're just going to move this over until we have pretty much what we're looking for, about what we're looking for, which is like that. Now another thing I'll do is I'll turn the detail down um, because it's more, they're more blobby than they are detailed because when you have more detail you have um, the uh, sharper the edges are and the less detail the more blobby obviously so we're just gonna go with less blobby on this one because if you look at a cigarette filter they're generally um, like that and we can actually and then if you want to use the scale to scale as big as you want um, and like I said, and because they are the way they are, it's almost impossible to tell where the crease is. You can actually even move this around until you get a good effect where you can't tell where the crease is. Um, like there, where it'd be harder to tell. Plus there is a natural crease that's in there anyway because when the, they fold the cigarettes. So that's about right, right there. So that's what I would say. I'd drop my detail down to zero. Okay. Now as for this section right here, I'm going to hold Alt and click on there. Make sure I have my box settings. Sorry. Make sure to come up here and have your your um, base settings still on. Grab all of those. And then what we're going to do is that is going to be this top material since we, we added the material and then changed this one to two. This one is naturally number one. We don't have to hit assign or anything, so that's good. Alright, so this, we're going to add in that texture we did earlier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into texture, go to image texture right here. Click that in. And then we're going to literally take the color, put it in there. And then um, we're going to hit open. Find where we hit put our Marlboro image, which is right there. Open image. Okay. And now we can kind of see... Um, our cigarette coming together. Okay, we are going to first figure out where those lines are, right there and there. So we're going to rotate by uh, in the uh, UV menu by 90. We're going to scale that down, put it right there, and then we're going to actually scale it by on Y or X, scale it long ways, and then grab it. Okay. Now another thing you can do, this will actually make it easier, is make a loop cut and bring it down into right around there. Okay, because that will be that'll allow you to separate these this two sections where you can make this all white and then this your logo. Okay. So I'm gonna come back over to face select here, grab those ones right there. I'm gonna hit GY or GX. Okay, I'm gonna put that right on that edge line. G, Y, X, right there, okay. And then we're actually going to hit R180 to rotate 180 degrees to make sure that we are um, on that line right there so that we can have that. And now I would actually hit double A, hit C, grab all these. GX to move it over and kind of get it to where it looks about right. So you want it so the text not to be squished. That looks about right. Um, I might want to. Oh, 
grab those again, and I might want to grab all of them and scale it down just a touch. I might want that Marlboro a little bit bigger. So, yeah. And then GX right there. Okay, like that. And then you can grab this one right here and see all that and hit SX and scale that down. And since this is all just a white image, you can literally put this anywhere on this white image and you're going to come out with the correct texture or the correct uh, look. So there we go. Now we have the filter in there. The last two parts we're going to do for this is actually, um, even though the cigarette's upside down and I'm looking here, if I hit one on my number pad, I actually put that on the upside down part of it. So I'm actually going to hit RY180 and that's going to rotate it. So now it's on the top. There we go. All right. Now we're going to come into edit mode, come there and grab all of these. Um, and it doesn't really matter. You just want to make sure that you're on this material right here. And then I'm actually going to shift that over to, um, uh, I'm going to drop the specular down to about 0.2. And then the roughness, I'm actually going to drop down to like 0.1 maybe. And I'm going to, uh, if I still have my light, I think I do. No, I don't. So if I don't have my light, I'm going to come out of edit mode, click up here, and just add in shift A and then add in a light. A sun. Um, actually, I can, I can delete that sun. We don't need that right now because that's not what we're doing. I'm going to come over here and add in. Just turn up the uh, world settings here so you can see. And I can even add in a sun if I want to see it a little bit better. So there we go. Okay. Now, as for the two end pieces, that's what we're going to be working on now. Um, like I said, you see the Marlboro, that everything looks good on that. And then, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into edit mode, click on this face right here. If we need to have this up. Okay. And then I'm going to hit one on the number pad. I'm actually going to click both of these faces by holding shift and clicking on that face and that face. And then I'm going to hit one on the number pad, zoom in and I'm going to hit U and then project from view. Now the reason I'm doing project from view is because I can make sure these are the correct aspects to what I'm looking for. Uh, plus we're going to want different materials for these, so that's what we're going to be going off of. Um, we're actually going to be copying um, the texture for um, the filter here to um, do these other two textures. So what we're going to do is going to click on the filter, so I'm actually called it F-I-L-T-E-R, and then I'm going to change the other material to paper, P-A-P-E-R, okay, <clears throat> and then I'm going to click on plus, again, hit new, and then material, I'm going to change the name of that to uh, F-I-L-T-E, oh, filter, uh, sorry, I'm messing up here, um, filter end, okay, and then this one I am going to hit. Oh, wait, sorry. I did what I forgot. Always forget to do. Um, grab this one, fil filter end, and um, we're actually going to delete that one, and get rid of that one. Uh, come over to filter here, and then we're going to hit copy the little uh, or a new material. It uses the new material based off of the one we just made. So I'm going to click that. So it copies it. And then now that I have that clicked, I'm going to click assign. And I don't know why the UVs went messed up on that, but we're going to go to one. And U, project from view, bring it back to a circle. And then uh, C, there we go. We have the texture of the same as that. Now the only difference is, is this is going to be white. Hold on, let me grab that, turn that to white, all the way white. Oh, I don't know why it didn't work. Hold on, let me zoom in a little bit more here. Click on that. Make sure that that, oh, make sure that that is white. Okay, and this one is going to be black. This one on the end is going to be black. Uh, and then we're actually going to move that all the way to the end. Barely have any of it. And then what we're actually going to do is hit Shift A. 
And then we're going to input a bump, which is under vector. And then we're going to place that right there. And then off of our color ramp, our height is going to be plugged into there for that. Um, you don't need to actually use that. Um, hold on. Actually, a better way to do it, I'm sorry, would go off of the factor instead of that. Sorry about that. So it just basically uses the size of the noise texture and not the um, area of that. So it doesn't go off of the noise texture. So this will be better. Then we're just going to click that into the normal there. And you're going to see it actually kind of makes it a little bumpy. Uh, and if you notice that black, I'm actually going to, oh, the black here, I'm actually going to turn up a little bit, probably all the way to white. I'm going to turn specular up a little bit, roughness all the way up because this is a very rough texture. And I'm just going to scale this up a bunch, um, add in a bunch of detail, and actually scale it back down a little bit until it has about the same texture as the butt of a cigarette. So maybe about there. Uh, it may be a little too rough. So I'll actually take the detail down a little bit and I'll actually smooth it out just a touch. Just a touch. All right, so that basically has the end filter look to it. Um, it's not perfect, but it'll work for what you need. Um, you can always come up here and change this to a dark darker color to give it a little more of an effect but this is just basically in this case you can actually get rid of this converter and just flat out put the fat or the color sorry the color of it ooh that's a new one I have not seen the noise texture make that color before um, so let me go by actually no uh, let me hit shift A again, hit converter. Uh, I'm just going to use another color ramp. Got to give it a second to load. Change that black to a white. And the reason I'm changing it to a white is because mostly, for the most part, we're just going to be using the bump from the noise to create the texture on the face. Okay, probably turn that up a little bit. Turn the detail down. Or actually, I can also come down here and turn the strength down a little bit, and that'll also cut it down. Now, this is just for visual effect. Like I said, when you're rendering a cigarette from far away, you're not really going to see the butt too well. But if you are, you know what I mean. If you got a cigarette sitting to the side like this, and you can, you you always want to kind of catch that end. All right, so the other end here, we're actually going to do the same thing as we did for that end. So I'm going to go into edit mode, click on that one. And then I'm going to click on filter again. I'm going to hit plus on that. Okay, and then, um, sorry, you didn't have to click filter. Uh, you just hit plus on that, click down, uh, hit filter again. And then we're going to, I don't know why that's the same as that one. Oh, we're going to hit copy on that one. So that does, sorry, that's why that didn't work. We have to hit copy again to copy it again. And so because we want to be able to change this texture and do the same thing that we did on the last texture, which is basically shift A, add in a uh, vector bump, um, plug that in there and the height is going to be off the factor for the noise texture again. We're not going to be plugging the normal the factor for the noise texture into that. Okay. And then we're going to hit assign so that it's there and we're going to take a look at that real quick. And okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to actually, first of all, we're going to want a bunch of it. And then I'm going to change this white to a black because when you look into a cigarette, usually it's black when you're looking into it. Um, there's no detail in this, so I'm going to turn the detail up and I'm actually going to drop that back down until we have like a nice little random, rough, large texture-ish. I'm going to move that over a little bit. 
And then I'm going to hit plus on the bar here, and then I'm going to change this middle one to a white. Okay. Um, like, actually completely white. And then I'm going to use that over by the black here, and then I'm going to move that over. And I think in this case, we are going to want to use the alpha on the height for that. Just because, we'll see if that works. No, that didn't work. Maybe the color on the height for that. Let's see. No, that's not going to work either. Damn. Uh, let's see. Converter. Uh, black body. Yeah, actually, I'm not going to worry about that. What I'm going to do is I'm still just going to use the factor off of that. And then we're just going to be trying to find the tobacco size and look to it. So we're going to be about there. Drop that detail down a little bit. And then we're going to pull this one back so we can kind of see where we're at. And then I'm going to want to bring that white to about there. Okay. And then I'm also going to want to change this brown a little bit because we don't want it to be the same color as the, uh, we actually want it to be more of a tobacco color, which is a darker, more grittier look. So we're going to keep around, oh, hold on. I didn't want to do that. Let's, you know, wanted to keep that down. And bring that to right around a tobacco color again. My bad, I didn't mean to get it off of that color, but a nice dark one like that. Um, like I said, we're going to use the black on this. I'm actually, what I'm going to do is I only created that white so I could see, uh, and then the ne I can hit negative and get rid of that again. Um, and then bring this back, or we're going to take this, actually the black up a little bit to try to give it a little more detail for the black because we're going to try to cut it together a little bit more. I'm going to maybe bring that black up a little bit like that, cut it in, maybe bring it back to there. Like I said, we're just going to move this around until we have what looks like a tobacco end. And you can also zoom out and take a look at it and see because what's going to happen is, is when you back off this, um, the view here, you'll actually, it'll look a lot better. But like I said, you're going to want to have similar looks. So I'll actually bring that down to about there. <coughs> Excuse me, probably one. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, okay, and then that is legitimately almost pretty much it. Um, like I said, you can sit and tweak this a little bit more. Um, turn your brown maybe a little bit more. Um, I'm going to keep that the same color. Just darken it a little bit like that. And then maybe bring the black down just a touch, bring that down just a touch so we have a few of them, um, turn our detail down, or wait, no, actually we'll leave our detail the same, and then we can also scale this up a little bit to give it more if we want to, if you want it like a little thin packed cigarette, but I like to have that rough look, so I'm actually going to go wider until we have almost like, it looks like there's a cigarette in there. And then I can also bring those, you know, still tweak, just sit and mess with the, all of the uh, stuff until you have pretty much what you would think would be a texture. Now you can also come down here to the strength of the normal and bring that normal down, uh, which will literally do this right here. It'll get rid of the noise texture that gives it that look. But this is what we want. We want something like that so that when we're zoomed out or let me go back to my world here, turn that down to all the way black and if I'm just zooming around it let's actually uh, pretty much done with all this so we're gonna get rid of all that just have a look at it here um, where to go okay this should be right there oh no nope, that was not it oh no creating more windows Okay, that should be up here, right there. Okay, sorry, a little more difficult. I haven't used it in a while. Uh, I'm not used to that, 
Okay, so we can actually even go to our render mode here. And if you look at our cigarette itself, it's a little too shiny, so I'm actually going to come over to my uh, specular, bring up my specular a little bit, bring up my roughness. Oh, wait, hold on, I'm on filter too. Let's go to paper. Sorry, my bad. Uh, and we're going to want to turn up the specular a little bit and then turn definitely turn up the roughness so we have like a rough and just run it through you see how it's shiny and it's not just run the roughness until you have like a, a general cigarette would look it's dull but it has a s very slight shine when it, you have the light directed directly on top of it and that's what you want here okay so uh, after that there's um, you there's a couple more things you could actually do to give it a little better look uh, that is also creating uh, a black line by taking two of the vertices, shrinking them to, of, of here. Uh, we're going to go into edit mode. I'm just going to show you what I used to do. Um, and this is just one little last step for a little extra detail. So I'm going to hold control R and then go right next to where the Marlboro is. Click on it and then bring it up to real close, real, real close there but not quite touching. You know, give yourself a nice little thing. Um, and then grab, hold alt and grab um, just that line. So you grab everything on that line. Okay, and then you can actually come over and hit plus because we're gonna add one more material. This one you can just click new. And then this one is just literally gonna be black. And then we're gonna hit assign. So now, there's a thin black line in the cigarette where the thing would be, and if you want to, you can actually hit, um, let's see, we're going to actually hit three or one on the number pad to be straight view onto it, Z, and then we're going to go to wireframe mode, and those are the face we're looking, we're going to want to go to there, and grab these, or sorry, grab these two, hit GG, because we're going to want to keep it with, uh, when you hit G twice, it'll snap it and keep it with the um, vertices that it's already lined with. Okay, so I can't come out of in between those two vertices, which is nice. So I'm going to actually shrink that up to about there. Make a nice little thin line. I want it to be super thin because I don't want it to be too, too noticeable. If the more noticeable it is, the, the worse it is. Um, so I'm going to edit mode, hit GG. Just make a very, very slight line. So that if I grab the second and hit R, or wait, sorry, R, Y, rotate that up. Now you have a, a thin line on the cigarette. And you can also, even if you want to, you can come up to object and go to shade smooth. Okay. And that will smooth everything out. Um, right now, I don't know why the texture is doing that. Uh, EB has been having some issues I've noticed recently. Uh, and I can, I think this should still, everything should still work. Uh, in cycles, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah, everything still works in cycles. So you can do that with that little black line, or you can even just not, you know, not have it, you know, get rid of it. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just tapping Control Z until I get rid of it. So if you don't want that, that's fine. Um, but if you come over to Object, hit Shade Smooth. And then if you notice the ends will act a little funny. Um, we're back in Eevee, so I'm going to go over to Cycles here. And if you have Shade Smooth Flat on a flat surface with a tight edge like that, you are going to have issues. Unless you're 3D printing or need a hard body model, the best way that I find to do that is by grab it, hitting A, grabbing everything, come over to the modifier, and hit Edge Split. Uh, there is another way to do that. This is my way. This is the way that I like. Okay. Now, all that's going to do is split the edges there on the ends. And actually, you know what? That tobacco is too shiny. So what I'm going to do is go to... Oh, see, this is why you have to label your stuff. Um, I think it's this one. And I'm going to grab the light. I'm actually going to rotate that so that I can see the tobacco. 
Yeah, that's way too shiny. We need that not shiny. Okay, so go to the material. Grab that. Go on the material tab here. Make sure I'm clicked on the right material. Come over to specular. Drop the specular down to pretty much nothing. Tobacco does pretty much almost has a nothing look to it. Okay, and we want, so we don't want the end to flicker, shine, or reflect anything. We want it to be a flat, uh, very diffuse type texture um, with the glossiness at a very low rate. Um, so, no specular is fine. Uh, roughness, you can you turn the roughness all the way up or all the way down at this point because that kind of really, that'll be fine. Sorry, it's just, you don't have to do that. And that's pretty much it. Um, after that, you can set up your cigarette and adjust the things that you need, your paper. You can make your paper rough or put in the same type of material I, I said before for the filter. And for the paper, it's, I mean, you just use a gray material. Like, I can, you know what I mean? You just use a gray material instead of uh, the white and brown. You just use a gray and white and you'll have the same type of material that you use right here uh, that you can play around and that's like I said procedural textures are generally pretty easy but the problem is is that if you don't know about the nodes then you don't you can't do it and I've noticed a lot of the things that I don't understand or that I'm continuously trying to learn about is how the nodes work uh, especially with each other and off of each other um, there's attribute nodes that are just awesome so far and or awesome in this program um, there's tons of different ways you can do it. There's tons of different ways you can light it. Um, I can hit Shift-C. I'm going to add in a flat plane here and just scale that up so you have some type of reference as to what the cigarette will look like uh, and some type of reflection on it. You can actually even duplicate that plane and bring it up above where the sun is so that you have a secondary texture to kind of reflect off of if you need to. Um, well, I'm actually going to grab that hit period so I center on the cigarette there and then I'm actually all I'm going to do for the paper is I'm going to turn the specular down just a touch just so that it's not so so shiny and I'm going to give it probably a little more roughness because I do want to shine off of it but I don't want it to be like glossy I just want it to have like a faded section that says oh that's where uh, let's see if we can find a good spot here. I also have my rendering samples, I think, pretty low right here. But, yeah, basically that's all you're going to want to do. There you go. There's a cigarette. You can sit and play with it as you want, duplicate it, have it sitting around your room, create a book, do whatever. That's just super simple procedural cigarette. I uh, probably took way longer than I should have. So, um, all right. Thank you, guys. Uh, I will talk to you guys later. Um, like, subscribe, share, and don't forget to, uh, um, if you have any comments or questions or anything like that, always remember to uh, let me know. I'm more than willing to help anybody out that needs it or anything that I can currently. So, um, all right, have yourself a good day.